welcome. Today we're going to look at multiplying a binomial by a binomial. I have two methods to show you. The first one on the left side of my screen you'll see is called FOIL, which stands for first, outside, inside, and last. And then on the right side of the screen you're going to see what's called the box method. You actually draw a box and use it as a graphic organizer to help you solve the problem. Both methods work, so you can look at each method and then decide which one you think works better for you. So let's start with FOIL. So I'm going to start with my first, and what that means is we are going to multiply the first value in each set of parentheses. So my first value is an x on this side and an x on that side, so x times x is x squared. So I'm done with first, and then I go to the O, which is for outside. And that means they want us to multiply the two values that are on the outsides of my parentheses, like what's on the very most outside. So I've got an X on this side and a 4 on this side. So X times 4 is 4X. Since it's a positive 4X, I do plus 4X. Then we go to the I, which stands for inside. So they want me to multiply the two values together that are on the inside of my problem. So in that case, I'm going to take 3 times x. That's a positive 3x, so I'm going to put plus 3x. And then for last, they want us to look at each set of parentheses and take the value that's last in each set. So in that case, I've got 3 times 4, which 3 times 4 is a positive 12, so I do plus 12. Now that I've distributed using that FOIL method, what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine like terms. So when I look at my problem, I say, okay, I don't have any other x squared, so I'm just going to bring it down. But if I look at my x's, I have a 3x and a 4x here that I can combine. So 4x plus 3x is going to give me 7x. Then I have my plus 12, and I'm just going to bring it down because there are no other constants that I can combine with it. And there is my answer. It's a trinomial as a result of multiplying those two binomials. So let's do the same thing now, but let's do the box method. So I'm going to start and I'm going to write x plus 3 across the top of my box, one value in each um, column, and then for my second binomial, I'm going to put that over here on the left side, and it's going to be one value for each row. So I'm going to use a highlighter here to help show us what we're multiplying together. So here I'm going to take my x times my x, so each row in each column is going to be multiplied together, and x times x is x squared. So I'm going to move over here to the right. On the right, I'm going to take 3 times x. You'll see that I've highlighted in blue. And 3 times x is going to give me 3x. Then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go to my bottom left corner, and I'm going to have x times 4 and x times 4 is 4x. And then the last thing I'm going to do is take that bottom right corner, which is going to be a 3 times a 4, and 3 times 4 gives me 12. So if I take those out and put them in order, let's see, x squared plus 3x plus 4x plus 12. And again, I can combine like terms. So I have x squared plus 7x plus 12. And if you notice, this problem has the same answer on the left side of the screen as the right. So either method works. Let's take a look at another problem. So again, I'm going to do FOIL and I'm going to do BOX. So we'll start again with the FOIL method. So I start, and if I remember, the F stands for FIRST. So I'm going to take my first value in each set of parentheses and multiply them together. x times x is x squared. Then I go to O, which is outside. So I'm going to take the two values that are on the outside of my problem, which is x times 5. That's going to give me plus 5x. Then I move to my inside values. The two values that are on the inside are negative 7 and x. Negative 7 times x is negative 7x. And that leaves me with my last, which is negative 7 times positive 5. A negative times a positive is negative, so negative 35. And again, once I have that multiplied, I have to ask myself, what can I combine? 
So I bring my x squared down. There's nothing to combine it with. This right here, this positive 5x and negative 7x are like terms, and I can combine them. So if I have a positive 5x minus 7x, that's going to leave me with a negative 2x. So I put minus 2x, and then I bring my minus 35 down. So again, remember, FOIL stands for first, outside, inside, and last, which is what I've demonstrated on that left side. Now let's do that same problem, but let's use the box method. So at the top, I'm going to put x minus 7, and then on the left side, I'll put my second binomial, which is x plus 5. And again, I'm multiplying each row and each column together. So in this box here on the top left, I'm going to take x times x, which is x squared. Then I go over to the right, and I have negative 7 times x, which is negative 7x. I go to the bottom left where I've got x times 5, which is 5x. And then in my last box, I, it looks like I have a negative 7 times a positive 5, which is negative 35. So if I write that out, let's see, x squared minus 7x plus 5x minus 35. And there again, I can see that these terms can be combined. So x squared minus 2x minus 35, and that should match the answer that we have, and it does, so you can see that both answers are the same no matter which method you choose.